Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be talking about one of the latest episodes of The Loud House. For anyone who doesn't know, The Loud House is a relatively new Nickelodeon cartoon. It's about Lincoln Loud and the adventures he gets into being the only boy smack in the middle of ten sisters. It's really cute and sweet and I highly recommend it. The episode L is for Love is making a bit of news lately. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched it, even though I kinda gave away the quote unquote twist. In the episode, a love letter from a secret admirer is discovered by the siblings. The letter is simply addressed to L Loud. Since all their names begin with L, because their parents don't know how to name children properly, they all try to figure out if it was their crush that sent the letter. It narrows down more and more until it seems like Luna, the rock and roll loving sister, is the only possible recipient of the letters. It later turns out that the letters were a mix-up and were from their mom to their dad, but the whole event encouraged Luna and the rest of the siblings to approach their crushes. The main focus of the episode was Luna and her crush on Sam. We don't actually know who Sam is until the very end when it's revealed that Sam is a girl. Sam reads Luna's letter and smiles, which makes Luna smile too. I know I made a big deal in the beginning of the video, but I was mostly a joke. I'm bisexual myself, so it's really cool to see this kind of representation, especially in a kid's show. By the way, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry. I'm saying she's bi and not gay because she's shown to have crushes on guys too. And while it is really cool to have that representation, I think my favorite thing about it is just how low key and chill it is. The central focus isn't, oh my god, Luna likes a girl! It's not made a big deal, and weirdly enough, that kind of makes it a big deal. I like that they let the audience assume that Sam was a boy before revealing her, and when Sam is mentioned by Luna throughout the episode, all her family encourages her to try talking to her and not to be afraid. The fact that her entire family, including her parents, are so supportive is really awesome to see. A lot of people have this idea that any LGBTQ topic put into a kid's show makes it dirty, but there are tons and tons of kids struggling with their identities, but it's really important to see themselves in media and know that they're normal and loved. I'm really glad to see this type of chill, nonchalant type of representation in kids shows. Stories about queer kids don't always have to be all encompassing. Or you know, non-existent. It can be chill, and that's really cool to see. I'm sure there's gonna be people who are upset by this. The closed minded people still living in the 1920s. But you know what? It's not that big a deal. Plus, focusing your anger on this only detracts from the real controversy of the episode. 